The body of Lake Michigan is 574 feet above sea level, and it's level. There's no change in elevation, there's no curve. This cross-section shows what an undisturbed body of water looks like, and that's level. We know that to be true. There's three properties of liquids. They have mass, they take up space, and they always take the shape of their container. The physics of water is to find and maintain level. So if it's in a cup, to this lake behind me, to the seas, to the oceans, that's why I call it sea level, because it's flat and level. No matter who tries to sell you the idea that water's curving over a ball, it's just not happening. That's the number one proof right there, just water alone. Water alone proves that the earth is flat, because water always finds and maintains level, period. Water does not curve in its temporary state. It's finding its level. Once it, it hits the ground and finds its level, it remains level. I never even thought of the idea of water maintaining its level. I mean, that alone just was like mind blowing. Like absolutely, water has to maintain its level. Like it's always if it's calm and there's nothing going on, you know. It's you look at a lake; it's just chill and flat. It has to be. It can't curve. There's nothing you can say or do to ever show water bending or curving. Water needs to be contained. No matter what you do. It's going to remain level. The flat earth proves beyond a shadow of a doubt the existence of intelligent design, a creator. And we are all important in the center of the universe. Yes, it is absolutely imperative that we know that there is a creator, that the sun, moon, and stars revolve around us, that we have a purpose. We are at the center of the universe. I didn't become a millionaire until I realized I was at the center of the universe. Now I have a purpose. Once you understand that you are at the center of creation, everything changes and basically we're unplugging from the matrix we're unplugging from the heliocentric system and when you do that the the rulers of this world uh you unplug from them you stop feeding them what they need they want your fear energy they want your labor they want everything from you and people unknowingly just keep giving it to them i don't want my children to be lied to and I don't want my grandchildren to be lied to either. So if this is going to stop, it starts with you and I. You know, they inherit all this stuff. You go to school and they teach you. When I was in grad school, man, I was shocked that most people, most of my classmates were not really interested in learning. They, just, they were interested in passing a class. On the one side, tens and tens of scientists proven that the Earth is stationary and we have Nothing on the globe's side, so the Earth is stationary. No one thinks how easy it is to do this, and they pulled it off, unfortunately. But we're here now to completely reverse this, and people hate on us from the left and from the right. Everyone hates on us. Now shut up with your flat earth stuff. It's not important. It's the most important thing. It opens the door for everything else. You want to know the truth? You have to know where you live.